And so I'm gonna go ahead and drill in here on transformer 1.4 and kind of take a look at what's going on. We've got some red conditions here. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and take a look at all the events that Beridium is collecting around this particular asset in this transformer. So we'll see, I've got some, uh, some double test results. It's one of the key test, tests around a transformer uh, that, that have indicated an abnormal problem, potential for insulation deteriorating. I see I've got some work orders where people have been out repairing oil leaks. I can see I've had a high load excursion that's been picked up from the SCADA system, run through OSI, coming to Meridium as, a, as an event. I can see outstanding PMs around dissolved gas analysis. I can see online dissolved gas results coming through GE Perception, which is an online dissolved gas analysis system. So this is a great way to see all of that event data coming through into Meridium so that we can get a sense of what's going on around this particular asset. Now, as we, we've talked about, there's a lot of data. So one of the things that we like to do is to take all of this event data and bring it together into a very high level aggregate view of overall health of the asset. So I've now switched to the health indicator view, which is giving me a very simplistic view from a red, yellow, green color indicator of where are my emerging threats that are occurring from all these events that are occurring around this particular asset. And the, the health indicators are a great visual cue, but what's really interesting about them is the intelligence that we're placing behind the health indicators inside of this transformer solution. And the way that we do that is through the concept of policies. And so policies are a very robust way to take human knowledge, industry standards, compliance standards, put them into the system, and have them effectively do the hard work for you. Watch the conditions, watch the work orders, watch the process conditions that are out there, and understand if things are changing in a way that are now gonna increase the risk of this potential asset failing. So I'm gonna show you a couple policies, just for example. Um, this one a, is, a, is a pretty straightforward policy, but what we find as we talk with you is it drives significant value to you from a business perspective. It's a PM compliance policy. And this one happens to be coded for SAP, so you might, for those of you that run SAP, you'll probably notice the, the, the nomenclature in terms of work order status, but what this policy is doing is for this transformer, it wakes up every day, it goes and it queries SAP and it says, are there any key preventative maintenance activities that are sitting in a backlog that haven't been completed? And what we have found is you guys are doing great work to establish the appropriate strategy, but sometimes that strategy is not being fully executed. And you're not sure if that risk is being mitigated because that activity is not being performed. So this policy goes out, sees if any activities aren't being performed, populates a health indicator to give you a visual cue that that might be occurring, that you might have exposed risk, and it can also send emails. So this is one of those real simple ones, just working from your work order data that helps you find potential hidden risk that you don't know that's there because the maintenance department has a large backlog or hasn't had a chance to execute certain preventative activities that we know will mitigate that risk. Now, the policies that we're building for the transformer solution are based upon various standards, some of them the IEEE standards, and they can get fairly complex and fairly robust. So I'm gonna show you an example of another one. Um, this one is a policy that's really focused on monitoring and determining the condition of the insulation inside of the transformer. And it's taking data from multiple data sources. So it's, it's looking at oil quality, it's looking at dissolved gases within the, trans, within the oil and the dissolved gas, and it's also looking at historical work order data where we may have been doing work around the insulation or areas where the transform may have insulation concerns. And so I'm gonna open it up. I'm just gonna give you a quick preview of what this looks like. It's fairly complex. It'll take a second to open here. But it's grabbing that information from all those data sources. Let's see if I can zoom in. Just give you guys a little bit of a better view here. So the top part here is looking at oil sample results. Middle section here is looking at dissolved gas analysis results. Bottom section, looking at the work history that's going on around this asset. So we're taking all these inputs, we're running it through conditional logic, we're running it through calculations, and we're pulling it out to an overall health indicator view, specifically for problems that can occur around insulation. 
As you can see, there's several other policies that we're putting in place in the transformer solution around this particular uh, uh, type of asset for cooling, for insulation, for online monitoring. And then if we, we've got an overall health index policy that's taking all of that information and rolling it up into a key overall health indicator. So very deep intelligence. We've taken a tech, one of our uh, technical consultants and a subject matter expert in this area, and we've unleashed them on these building blocks that Eddie was talking about, and we said, build an intelligent asset strategy around the transformer solution and this is some of the outputs that we're starting to see, so very rich capabilities that are ready to go almost out of the box.